96.0 DC Central New York's greatest hits. I'm driving home the other day, so I'm going into Village New Hartford. Take a left there at Burn Dairy, and there's this guy that's uh, underneath the overpass, and I'm like, what's this guy doing? And as I get closer, turns out he's painting a picture. So I turned around, came on back, and then said hi to the guy, and before I could even say hi, he's like, hi, Keith, and I'm like, how in the <laughs> world do you know who I am? And then I, he turns his face from the painting, and I'm like, I know this guy. It's uh, Chad Smith, uh, Blast from the Past. How you doing, that's Chad? Right. I'm good. How are you today? Very good, man. Two days in a row you've been down there. I have. So what in the world possessed you to hang out underneath an overpass painting pictures? I know it seems kind of strange. Usually I attract a lot of attention, both good and bad, doing this kind of thing. <laughs> I'm sure. But uh, I live in the area, and I'm an artist, so I like to paint the local scene. It's the thing that excites me. It's the thing I'm attached to. So I was down there. I just happened to find a scene I thought was paintable, and I just I just went for it. Why did you choose that particular spot? I literally lived just up the street. I had driven down, had a few ideas of what I was going to do, and walked around, and it just struck me as something that both represented the scene in the area, but was also visually interesting. So I need both of those things. When you paint, though, that makes it visually interesting in the first place. If I saw a photograph of the same thing, I'd be like, hey, what, what is this? This is not really that cool. But right. you, the fact that you painted it, I'm like, wow. It yep. just pops off of the canvas. Well, I consider that part of my job. is okay. to uh, sort of reveal the world to people. And uh, it happens often, especially with the cityscapes, is that people drive through there all the time. And don't even think about it. And never think about, oh, that's amazing. That's really, <laughs> you know, that's that's beautiful. Yeah. And so that's my job. That's part of my job. So how long have you been doing this for? I've been doing this professionally for about 10 years. I've been painting for about 15 years full time. Okay. I saw your website, so you do portraits. That's correct. I primarily focus on portraiture and outdoor painting. So why outdoors versus indoors? Well, I grew up in a place not dissimilar to this area. Very beautiful outside. Spent all my time outside fishing and being outdoors. Yeah. And so when I became a painter, it just was a natural evolution, honestly. Okay. And once I started doing that, I never really looked back. You're trained in painting? It'd be a long, boring story to tell you <laughs> what I've done to try to learn how yeah. to get good at this stuff. But yeah, I've spent a long time, a lot of money, and a lot of energy learning how to paint. We've had a painter on the station before. He was uh, what we call a speed painter. So he would just hmm. uh, put, put a you know a canvas up, and in 90 seconds, he's got to make a, make a pick. So you're the second painter to ever be on the station but here. So That's interesting. Well, maybe he and I need to meet. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. And he, he paints it invisibly with glue and then throws glitter on it. What? And then, the, and then all of a sudden, the picture materializes. That's incredible. I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, I have to see this. Neither, it sounds yeah. great. I've got some stuff to show you when we get off the air here, but uh, yeah, it's Very pretty good. cool. So you two should definitely get together. But where can we find your work besides on your website? I'm represented by galleries in both Colorado, Florida, Maryland, and then here in New York. Specifically here in this area, you'd want to go to Old Forge. Gallery 3040, which is right in the middle of town, right on 28. It's right on the right there. Talk to Deb, the owner, and she'd be glad to show you all the work that I've got there. In fact, I just had a show, an opening, a reception this last Friday, so they have a bunch of work. If somebody wants to see it, it's there to see. The picture that you've painted now, what do you plan on doing that, the one that you were doing under the overpass? If I don't throw it in the garbage, I'll probably <laughs> sell it. <laughs> no, actually, I like it quite a bit, and it'll certainly be available on my website, if okay, not yeah. through the gallery itself in Old Forge. It just kind of depends on how that goes, but... Any work that I like and I think represents me well, I'll sell on my website under the available paintings. And besides that uh, that particular painting uh, that Chad painted underneath that overpass, he's brought some other work here with him, too. So we're going to be right back with Chad Smith, the, uh, the roving painter here in central New York. We're going to be right back with him after some weather and a couple of tunes. Got Foreigner next on 96.1. Don't go anywhere. 96.1 ODC Central New York. Greatest. It's Dan Hartman still dreaming on a Friday. Good morning. I'm Keith James. It's... 7.34 on a foggy Friday here. Looking for a 77 high and lots of sunshine. So waiting for that to come up. But in the meantime, I've got a special guest here in studio. We've been talking about uh, Chad. We're talking to Chad Smith about a painting that I caught him doing in the village of New Hartford. So I was curious about it. Got him here in studio. And we've been talking about that one painting and about his painting background. But he brought some more paintings with him. So, Chad, let the, tell us a little bit more about these other paintings you got here. The other painting that I brought that was a larger size, I did just a few days 
before you saw me. And it was from a similar place, a little earlier in the morning, a different format, but really the same feel. Different light because it was so early in the morning. Yeah, there's more yellows in the sky than That's blue. exactly yep. right. And if you pay attention to that kind of stuff, it becomes obvious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm looking at it all the time. So it was a beautiful scene, and I couldn't resist. So I set up and I painted that one. Not far from where you caught me, where, right. we, where we saw each other. Right and in the village, the, yeah. Then right there in New Hartford, yes. The other two, I painted yesterday morning. And the funny thing about those two, in upstate New York, you can never tell what the weather's going to do. In fact, <laughs> yeah. I've kind of given up on the weatherman, I think. <laughs> so have we. We All report right. the weather. We're not. They look at us like we're the weather guys. Like, Keith, you said it was going to be clear today. And I'm like, listen, I just swear my computer screen. It's not my you know? fault. Yeah. It's not my fault. No. So what I ended up doing yesterday morning, the light kept coming and going and coming and going. The sun was out. The sun was gone. The sun was out. The sun was gone. So I had this brilliant idea. In fact, I have to give my wife, Erin, credit for this, of painting two canvases, one with the sun and one without. And it actually turned out at the same time. So basically, that's what you see here. (laughs) One's definitely darker than the other one. (laughs) We'll take some pictures of those and put them up on our website so that people can see what what we're talking about here. But I'm always fascinated. I mean, people come to me musically. They're like, listen, it's amazing what you're able to do with your music. But I look at you and in the painting I'm like how in the world do you take something that we see in real life and make it look pretty real on a canvas I'm fascinated by that believe it or not it's all teachable this is not rocket science yeah that's what I tell people too about music yeah exactly <laughs> it looks like magic but when you dig in mm-hmm. there's some systems that uh, you know exactly, can be duplicated that's exactly right so anybody that wants to learn really can the oh. key here is and I'm sure you can relate to this as a musician to reach any sort of competency and high level it requires a lot of dedication yeah. and a lot of constant practice and most people aren't willing to go that far. That's the difference. And you actually would know about practice yourself because you're a musician too. I spent the first part of my life as a traveling, performing, recording musician. What's your instrument? My main instrument's bass. I love okay, bass. yeah, that's right. I haven't <laughs> seen you in years, so I'm sitting there going, I know this guy plays something, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> electric bass, I fooled around and dabbled with the upright, but electric bass is my instrument. And you've been out of the country with your paintings too? And, that's uh, right. I yeah. painted in Ireland in 2011 God, for a month. I just took... to be there would be amazing. Oh, I tell you, it was incredible. I, I really Really, we look forward to going back. It was great. It was great bumping into you like this. I mean, I'd love to have you yep. come in and you can do some paintings here, but there's nothing really interesting indoors here. But uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we can give it a shot. Yeah, right. You're like, yeah, this is what your <laughs> microphone looks like, impressionistic style. <laughs> so. <laughs> Shoot us the site. It's Chad Smith Paintings with an S dot com. And you're on Facebook as well. Do you have a special page? Both a personal and a Chad Smith Paintings page as well on Facebook. Okay. And I've got a blog on the website and all that kind of good stuff. There's and a lot of material got, on the website. You got a lot of poles in the pond here, man. <laughs> Well, that's what you got to do, right? Diversify. Isn't that what they say? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I'm doing the same thing, man. I can't keep everything straight. So, oh, my gosh. So, Chad Smith, the painter, you'll see him about the area. And uh, it was great to have you right. in studio today, man. And we look forward to maybe doing something else in the future with you. It was good to be here, Keith. Good to see you again. Thanks a lot. You bet. All right, so check him out online at 961WODZ.com. Got pictures of uh, Chad doing that one painting when I bumped into him that one day. And uh, I've got pictures of his other paintings he's got here. So if you'd like to, if you're interested in his work, interested in the idea, uh, you can find a link to his website as well at ours at 961WODZ.com. And we're going to make Chad Smith our person of interest today. So enter his name online at 961WODZ.com for a chance to win 500 bucks cash. Just hanging out inside our rewards club that we're going to give away at the end of the month. So, Chad Smith, your person of interest today, enters name online 961 wodzcom Weather, Super Tramp on the way next, 961.